nothing, no other kinds of being picked on kind of stuff. You sort of got more of a free ride. Than yeah, well, they're all isolated incidents. It's like once or twice a year, and you ignore it. So it's not a big deal. And otherwise, you got along pretty well with yeah. the people in your class. Yeah. In fact, people would like wave at us when we were picketing, like in high school. But like they your friends. Care. That, yeah. Who were, who were some of your friends in high school? Uh, people you more like acquaintances. I mean, we talked with them in classes. Um, do you like describe them or? Uh, yeah, not name them. Oh, uh, I mean, you know, just people we, ha we we never like really hung out outside of class. It would just be you know, in class, class projects, stuff like that. Were there some you gravitated more towards that you liked more and stuff? Sure, but you know, it was more than just like an acquaintanceship. Yeah. And how many of those closer acquaintanceships did you have through, say, elementary school? Uh, so elementary school was more of like uh, two or three, like each year. It would, yeah. yeah. So those are the guys who would wave to you in high school too and stuff? Uh, you make new friends in middle school and high school. Oh, is that right? Yeah. It's not, doesn't everybody go from one to the next? It does, but they all switch schools. Like when you reach the gap, it's like fifth to sixth, everybody switches. For us, it was eighth to ninth was the middle of the high school gap. And oh. so, yeah, everybody switched schools, so you see new people. They didn't all go to the same feeders, right? Yeah, so. and so how did you cultivate these, however you want to call these relationships with the people who you mainly over a homework, classwork, you know, they group people together to do dis group discussions. You just talk to people. Yeah. Um, in fifth grade is the first time I realized that not everyone believed the world was 6,000 years old. Or, you know, how like the Bible says it is. Okay. Right. Or, it didn't really say it's flat out 6,000. There's the whole thing about the Genesis gap and like it could be millions of years old. But... I thought it was 6,000 years old because that's what the little tabs in the Bible said at the beginning. It was like 6,000 AD, is when, oh, actually it was 4,000 BC, sorry. And so they were talking about 5,000 BC in the class, and I was like, I raised my hand, I said it out loud. Like, it, apparently everyone else knew that uh, that wasn't the case. They're like, oh, you, he's bringing Bible in here. And there's one kid especially who was an atheist. Like, at the age of 10, he was an atheist, which is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what his parents were doing. But, um,. He was like, I, I can't believe, I can't believe you would bring that in here. It's, uh, it's like, I didn't know. It was 5,000 years old, or 6,000 years old. But so that would make it into the story. Yeah. yeah. I was a little embarrassed. Uh, Did you guys pl end up playing any instruments throughout grade school or middle school, high school? Like yeah, we played piano play? from like, all of us started at first grade and went to eighth grade. <laughs> like all of your brothers and sisters too? Did you have like a favorite kind of music to play? Like, did you like Debussy or like Korsakov or did you like performing solo works or? We were just like trying to learn the instrument. We went through yeah. the Manfred. It was like 30 minutes a day because we were forced to type of thing. <laughs> I don't think any of us were like aspiring uh, concert pianists. Yeah, you go. But now they are thankful to have it. Yeah. yeah. This one can play the piano like both these guys can play really well. All of them can play. Yeah. The piano pretty good, and Gabe does the guitar, and he did the violin in school. Did you do violin? I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That was cool. Some of them did the violin, the flute, the... Yeah. Yeah, my mom made it a big requirement that my sisters and I play instruments throughout grade mm -hmm. school to try to help discipline us. Yeah, and the piano was so hopefully that they would be able to read music, because mm -hmm. music is such a big... You know, if you can read and you can sing, you right. can read the notes, you can sing them. Did you guys ever have an incident or a number of inc incidents happen to make you, I don't know if the right word would be resentful, towards your background and where your family came from, or is it more just like the people who are doing the things to you or, for lack of a better term, stupid? I thought they were kind of silly. Um, I never understood why there was so much resentment. Mm -hmm. Because it says in Leviticus 19, 70 to 18, that you love your neighbor by warning them that their sins are going to take them to hell. So we don't actually hate anybody. I never had any resentment for any of the other kids. Mm -hmm. So, But I remember this time in middle school, there was this kid, his name was, um, oh, I can't say his name, right? 
Okay, anyway, he was a funny kid. I really liked him. Um, I'm sorry, he was a funny kid. You? No, I really liked him. Um, but he was kind of a troublemaker. And uh, he was talking to me, and he said, you know, I kind of want to go to your church for a meeting or, um, to listen to one of the sermons, is what he was saying. And he said, but I'm afraid that your grandfather is going to say, I'm going to cook you and feed you to my 13 kids on what you get in my grill so that I can cook you and feed you to my 13 kids. And I just laughed. I just laughed. It was so ridiculous. It's like we don't have any animosity for anybody. He was making a joke at some point. Yeah, he was making a joke. but it's, They were. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Did, did he like you? I think so. He, we just didn't have a lot of a... I think he thought I was funny because of my... Uh, just my... I'm not like... I wasn't like any of the other kids. I was a little bit more withdrawn.